I'm Dr. Martin Wade at the London Skin and Hair Clinic and today we're performing Daylight PDT, otherwise known as Photodynamic Therapy. The treatment we're using today is for actinic damage and solar keratoses. Solar keratoses are the rough, slightly red scaly lesions that we see on sun damaged skin and a small percentage of these do have the potential to turn into a skin cancer so it's quite important to treat them. Daylight PDT involves preparing the skin and then applying a special sunscreen which only blocks the UV light. We then apply a porphyrin based cream which is put on the skin and is absorbed preferentially by the abnormal cells. We then expose the skin to the sun and this causes a phototoxic reaction destroying the abnormal cells. The reaction for the patient is they feel like they're having a sunburn but in actual fact it's healing the skin. We start the procedure by cleaning the skin with water and a gentle cleanser. Once the face has been cleansed, we then apply a sunscreen. This is a special sunscreen which is only a chemical sunscreen and doesn't have any physical blockers in it. The importance of this is we're only wanting to block the UV light but allow the other wavelengths of light to penetrate into the skin to activate the porphyrin based cream. So we're applying the sunscreen to the entire face and this will ensure that the patient doesn't get sunburned but allow the, the treatment to be effective. And as you can see, the area that we're treating is the entire face down to the jawline and then up onto the forehead into the hairline. We're also treating the nose, the upper lip, so all of the areas that have got the actinic damage. I've been on for 15 minutes, so what we're going to do now is prepare the skin to put the treatment cream on. We do this by exfoliating the skin and we use an exfoliating glove to rub the entire skin to prepare it for the treatment cream. The idea of this is to allow better penetration of the treatment cream, giving us a better result. Now that we've finished exfoliating the entire face, we're going to address individual thicker lesions that may still be present. For this, we use either a scalpel blade or a curette. Here we are gently scraping the skin, just removing the thicker keratin layers of the actinic keratoses. The skin is now ready for the treatment cream to be applied, and we apply this to the entire face. The treatment cream is a porphyrin based cream which is preferentially absorbed by the abnormal cells. The clever thing about this treatment is that the abnormal cells take up the porphyrin cream but the normal skin cells are not affected by this. This way we are just treating the abnormal cells and not the skin cells which are healthy. Once the treatment cream has been applied to the entire face, we then get the patient to go out into the sunlight for two hours. Daylight PDT is a treatment that we can do in the months April to October in the United Kingdom. There does need to be a degree of visible light to activate the treatment cream and it doesn't need to be full sunlight, but one restriction is if it's raining. One of the advantages of Daylight PDT over conventional PDT is that it's a very comfortable procedure. So because the patient's outside for two hours, we get a gradual activation of the treatment cream rather than the more intense activation that we get with conventional photodynamic therapy. This is actually a neat treatment because we're harnessing the energy of the sun to repair the solar damage. Now the preparation has been completed, so we ask the patient to go outside and sit in the sun for two hours. We then see the patient at the end of uh, this treatment period. So it's time to go out and enjoy the sunshine. Not often you hear a dermatologist say that. Thank you. It's later and our patient's been sitting in the park in the English sunshine. In actual fact, today's been an overcast day, but there's still enough visible light to activate the treatment cream with uh, uh, an overcast day. The only restriction really is uh, no rain. So we can see that the skin is a little bit red 
this will increase over the course of the day and then tomorrow the skin will probably look a little bit red as well and the skin then starts to heal up a little bit like as if it was sunburned but it's not sunburned. What we've done is uh, uh, targeted the abnormal cells with the treatment cream and the skin's then put into a healing response phase. The treatment's comfortable. The patient's told me that he was hardly aware that there was anything on his face. He, he didn't feel it painful at all. And as well as improving the sun damage and treating the solar keratosis, another nice effect of Daylight PDT is also skin rejuvenation. So generally it makes the skin uh, look better. It helps with the pigmentation to some extent, to extent the skin texture. And generally the skin looks rejuvenated. So now we wash the treatment cream off, we apply some sunscreen and then the patient's free to go. We call the patient the next day to ensure that uh, everything's okay, but we usually recommend a clinical review in three months to assess the response to treatment. And this tends to be a one-off treatment. We uh, treat the whole face and we're, we're um, repairing most of the damage there, uh, but ongoing surveillance is advised as well. I'm Dr. Martin Wade from the London Skin and Hair Clinic. Thank you for joining us today.